we're at uh, Home Depot today, this Saturday afternoon, and uh, I'm with Philip Morris, the president of the Marble City Cruisers. And Philip, welcome to TV and, and the morning show. Well, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you're here too. Tell us, uh, tell us about what's going on with the Marble City Cruisers and uh, what, what we should expect. We're going to go around and look at some cars today. What should we expect? Well, you know, we've been doing this as our fourth, fifth year. Uh, we usually range anywhere, depending on the weather, 30 to 60, 50 cars, somewhere in there. Um, we do raise money, and we give it to nonprofit charitable organizations. Of course, you know that, and you probably talk about that some, too. Uh, and we just have a good time. We do door prizes. Uh, we play music. Uh, there's no entry fee. Uh, you just come in. And we, we, we do 50-50 tickets, how we raise money, basically. Okay, we got the music cut, cut off now so we could interview. One of the things coming up on October 8th, the uh, Oak Grove Fall Festival, and I believe the Marble Credit Cruiser is going to have a uh, car show that day. Exactly. We'll be at the church parking lot. Right that right? That's, that's correct. Uh, Philip. And we're going we're gonna to do that. Now, that day will be an entry fee, but we'll still be doing door prizes and all that kind of stuff. We'll do a money free. So. Okay. Also, uh, we're going to be talking to uh, several people out here today. Looks like we got what 40 or 50 cars out already today, yeah, motor, motorcycles and several other things. And you've got a fine looking uh, Ford Fairlane here. Tell us a little bit about it, Philip. Oh, uh, it's a 66. Uh, it's an XL bucket seats console, uh, black interior. Of course, you can tell it's yellow. It's pretty much original. Got 80 something thousand miles on it. The only thing that's not original is the wheels. And I've got the original ones. I decided to sport it up a little bit and put a set of mag wheels on it. And I'd like to also uh, to to really thank Home Depot, our sponsors. You know, a lot of times we don't do that enough, and they've been generous for four years. Let us come out here. We've been here since we started, and they've always just, you know, a lot of times they'll even come out and pick a car for their pick and bring a prize out of the store to give to somebody for that pick sometimes. So it's nice, and Thomas Auto Parts, Napa, O'Reilly's. Um, and Advance. Ma Magic uh, Auto. Magic Service. Auto. Con Equipment. Okay. And Morris Custom Marble. Okay, we'll be back. Uh, <laughs> we'll look at some more cars. Yeah. In just a moment. Thank you. Have with me now on the show this morning, Jerry Patterson. Jerry works at Napa Auto Parts and one of our sponsors, and we really appreciate y'all being a sponsor, Jerry. Thank you. Yeah. Tell, tell us, uh, how, how did you get into this car collecting? I, I know you have a few, and uh, t tell us about the car you brought today. Uh, I've always been an old car nut or whatever and everything, and the, the only thing I messed with, though, was Fords or whatever, no Chevrolets and everything. And uh, I've just been into it for about 30 years now, yes it is, whatever. Okay, tell us about this car, uh, what, the year model and, and, yeah. and uh, the particulars of it and why you it, brought it today. It's it's a 92 uh, Mustang GT, or whatever. I've been looking for one for about a year and a fella come in the store out there that uh, owned it and uh, was telling me about it and everything. And I went and looked at it. It had good air in it, so I bought it. Well, is, is the air working now? The air's working we, we now. Might, we might, That's we right might should get in it now. So, uh, we're going to give this away for a door prize. Okay. Bit. Philip said we're going to give this one away for a door prize one might, of these days. Might as well. It needs a new owner anyway. Need, needs a new motor? <laughs> new owner. Oh, a new owner. Yeah. Okay. Jerry Patterson from uh, Thomas Auto Parts and Alpha Auto Parts. Thank you all for participating with us, and uh, thank you for coming out today. Glad, glad to help you all out. Have with me Steve Owen now. Steve, you got a beautiful, I guess this is a Roush Ford you have here, and uh, just absolutely beautiful car. What year model is it? Tell uh, us about it. 2007 Mustang GT Special. I drove it today because it's got air conditioning. Okay, how long you had the car? About five years. I bought from a retired Birmingham police officer. Yeah. He left his badge on the back, and I can't take it off because he glued it. Yeah. So that's a permanent fixture on it. But Okay, what, 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 what uh, are you retired? Uh, working on it. Working on it. What's your, what's your occupation? Uh, electrical consultant. I travel all over uh, teaching electricians. You're from Sylacauga, the area? Uh, uh, Pelham. Pelham. Uh, Pelham. Okay, well, welcome to Marble City Cruisers today. It's yeah. nice to have you with us and uh, just an absolute beautiful car. I see them on the yeah. Barrett Jackson and yeah. the Meekum Auction all the time, and I know you're proud of it, and yeah. I'd be proud to own something. Well, if you don't like mind it. me saying, I've got a 69 GTO Judge. And a 70 Buick GSX, but I didn't bring them because they're like big block engines and they get too hot. So well, I, I, that's why I, I drove I, this I've one. I've got one today, and I, I've been working on it. And uh, I got a 312 in a in a 
and a forward, and now you can understand what yeah. happens. There's not much yeah. room in that yeah. engine compartment. Yeah, those but big blocks get hot. Thank you for coming down the thank highway you. today, and uh, please come back and bring one of your other, one of your I, other cars I will when it cools cool. off. <laughs> and uh, you're welcome to come to our meetings and uh, be a part of us if you'd like to. Uh, we, we have a small group from Marble City Cruisers down here. So well, thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you for coming it. out today. My pleasure. All right, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, I've got Jack Rayfield with me today. Uh, he's got a beautiful 69 Plymouth Roadrunner. Correct. A and uh, how long you had this, Jack? Had this car 52 years. Undoubtedly, you bought it new. It had a few miles on it. I'm second owner. And uh, my wife and I dated in the car. And uh, some say she married me because of the car. And that may be. I'm not sure. But I still have both of them. She and the car. Well, that's after 50 years. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, how about walking over there and blowing the horn one time? I mean, th this is a treat. This is a Roadrunner horn. <laughs> You're, for all of you out there that's wondering what's going on in TV land, I'm B Bob Green and filling in for Jimmy Dale this morning. And we're at the Marble City Cruisers Cruise Inn at the Home Depot. It's being filmed a few weeks before the show today, but uh, I thought we'd come out and show a bunch of these cars and everything. And uh, Jack, you're very active in the, in the car club. And uh, I understand uh, Marble City Cruiser is working with the uh, Town of Oak Grove and their festival and going to sponsor a car show on what, October the 8th at the Fall Festival? That's correct, October the 8th. And uh, we're just getting set up for that. And we're expecting a big turnout. and hope to have a really good festival and and I'm hoping the car show will be a big part of that. Okay, um, if you come out to the cruise in or the car shows and everything, uh, Jack is the voice of the uh, Marble City Cruisers. He runs the PA system and does it does an excellent job and uh, Jack, you have an absolute beautiful road runner here. I would ask you if you if it would ever anything could buy it, but I know the answer. I don't think there's any amount of money it could buy this car, is it? It's part of the family. It, it won't be sold. Okay. Beautiful 1969 original Roadrunner, Mopar Performance. Just an absolute beautiful car. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Bob. Welcome back. Have a Studebaker owner, Jack Krauser, with us today. Jack, tell us about your Studebaker. Well, it is a 1962 Gran Turismo Hawk, Studebaker build 9335 for the 62 model year. Uh, all the Hawks from 56 to 64 are basically the same car with basically cosmetic changes throughout. This was the first year of the car without the fins after fins had been put on in 57. Uh, I've owned it almost 20 years. On my way down here this afternoon, the odometer turned over 100,000 miles. I believe that to be the correct mileage of the car. Wow, just absolutely beautiful, beautiful car. And, uh is this the only one, uh, a classic car you have? Or? Uh, I am a Studebaker collector. My bloodlines go back to South Bend, Indiana, where I was born and where Studebakers were made. And so I had several relatives that worked for the corporation, including my dad's favorite uncle, John, where my name partially came from. So I have that bloodline, like many that worked at Studebaker were relatives. I had relatives there, and that's the interest in my collection. Jack, you said on the way down you turned over 100,000 a day. Where, where, where'd you drive from? I live near the Westover, Chelsea area. Westover in Chelsea. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming down. And uh, uh, we do this the third Saturday of every month. And, and I'll come down. I, it'll, it'll be a little bit cooler starting next month. Yeah, let's hope so. It's not too bad today, it's, but it's, it's still sort of pretty warm toasty. Out, but yes, a sir. Be a beautiful Studebaker. And uh, we've got lots of different cars. And I'm, I'm going to try to get around and talk to the different types we've got today. Okay, well, Jack, thank you. Thank you for coming down okay, today. Thank you thank for you stopping by. You're welcome. Continuing on with the Marble City Cruise Inn and the Marble City Cruisers, got with me the treasurer of the Marble City Cruisers, Gilbert Harris. Gilbert, welcome to TV. Thank you. Tell us about the car you got here. Uh, it's a 71 uh, Chevelle. It's uh, pretty well all original. It's got 87,000 miles on it. Okay. How long you had the car? I've had it uh, December be four years. Why, why did you buy it? Any of my business? Oh, I wanted to Chevelle. You wanted to Chevelle? I had one when I was 17 years old. I wanted yeah. another one. Okay. Um, let's talk about something the uh, 
once again, we've done it two or three times. We'll say it again. We're going to have a uh, car show on October 8th. Yes, yes, at uh, Town of Oak Grove. Town of Oak Grove and the church parking lot across right. the street. Yes. Okay, Gilbert Harris is what year Chevelle? 1971. 1971 Chevrolet. Chevelle, thank you very much for All being right. with us, and uh, we'll be back right after this. All right, thank you. Okay, let's continue on. Have a very unique truck here with Justin Stevens. Justin, first, uh, introduce your family here to us and uh, before we get into the car show dealer. Here we got what, little baby Watson right here, and then we got little girl Leah. Okay, Watson, how you doing, boy? Oh, okay. He, he might start screaming in a minute. That's the way I, that's <laughs> the way I feel, too. Justin, tell us about this truck. I know the history of it. It's very unusual, but tell us about the history of this truck. So what we got right here is a 73 International 1110D, and uh, this truck is actually an original Silicaga truck, um, and I actually got it out of an estate sale out of a little south of Birmingham. But we're running a 304 all-original international motor with three-speed on the column. Still all original suspension and everything like that. We decided to go with a Comet Gray um, silver paint job on it with some flat black accents on it. Other than that, it's just an all-original truck, just fun to drive. Okay, I know the history of this. Tommy Matchett owned this truck, and there a lot of people watching the show this morning that knew Tommy Matchett. At one time, I was in the auto parts business. Tommy came in and bought a gallon of John Deere paint and painted this truck John Deere green with a paintbrush. I think you discovered that. Didn't That's you? right, I did discover that. That's how it was when I bought it. Okay, been talking to Justin Stevens uh, with Little Watson and his daughter, and uh, thank y'all for coming out today. Hey, we really appreciate it. Have with me now Jay Campbell, all the way from Gardendale, Alabama. Yes, sir. Thank you for coming down today, Jay. Well, hey, been wanting to get down this way, and the weather worked out, so it really uh, was fortunate. There, there's some unusual cars here today, and you, you have one. If you walk out here, you're going to notice this Cobra sitting out here. Tell us about it. Yeah, it catches eyes. It's a contemporary classic. The car is about 30 years old itself. It has uh, the Jag suspension, 428 Cobra jet engine in it. Um, with the hefty cam in it and it's uh it's about as close to original real one as you can get it's a it's a copy what year model is it it's a uh, titled as 65 i think this one uh they built it in 94. 94. 94. how many miles you got on it okay. it's got 30 000 on it. it's a driver carol shelby signed it herself wow this thing come over here uh through the barrett jackson auction several years ago so did, did you buy it from Barrett Jackson? I bought it from the doctor who bought it from Barrett Jackson. This thing, when it was uh, new, it was in the Pebble Beach Concours car show out there, which is pretty prestigious. Jay, Jay Campbell, thank you for coming down from Gardendale. We do this the third Saturday of every month, except December. Come down and join us again. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, thank you for coming thank out. Okay, we're gonna uh, do motorcycles now. and. Uh, I'm on, uh, we got four motors we're gonna do, and I'm gonna ask everybody to introduce themselves and tell us a little bit about their motor. Uh, I'm just, uh, my name's Austin Farrell. I got a 114 cubic inch Harley Davidson with a uh, little, little, little bit of internals. Not, not something, uh, just a little street ride is all it is. It's nothing special. How long you had it, Austin? Uh, almost two years now. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming out with us today. What's your name? Cameron Bird. Okay, Mr. Bird, step over here by your motor and let's talk about this Harley. Yes, it's just a 06 Street Glide that me and my dad's been working on for probably about two or three years now. And uh, just a good old bike, I love it. You ride it every day or just on the weekends? Pretty much on the weekends when I get time. Okay. Thank you for very much for coming out today and uh, hope you're enjoying the cruise in today. Yes, sir. Got Teddy Bird coming up next with uh, uh, yes, Teddy, step down here in front of you, your motor and uh, tell us all about it. And I know you're proud of it. Yes, sir, we're proud of it. There ain't, ain't much to it. It's just old seven um, street glide, Harley Davidson street glide. We've done a lot of extra work to it and stuff, but we get out on the weekends and try to support uh, local people like this and stuff. Enjoy it. Okay, go out on rides and support the charities and things. I believe yes, you do that also. Yes, sir. Okay, Teddy, thank you very much yes, for coming out today. Thank you. 
Okay, we got one motor out today that's not a Harley Davidson. Well, tell us your look alike. Tell us your name and uh, my name. My name is Mike Palmer, and uh, I'm riding a Vulcan 1700, and it's a Cadillac. I made the longest trip on it to Florida, and I tell you, it, it's nice. You live in Sylacauga? I live in Sylacauga, yes, sir. How long you had this beautiful uh, uh, I've made, say, four payments on it. I've just, I hadn't had it long. It's a 2014. Okay, that means about, well, I don't know what four payments would be or how well, long it would reasonable, be. They're reasonable. Oh, I don't, I'm not asking you to mind. I don't know what length of time it would take or anything else, but well, four beautiful motorcycles. Well, right thank today. you. Thank, thank you all for you. coming out and being part of the Marble City Cruiser. I was here Cruiser. last year, too, but I had a different one. But. Okay, we got here the third Saturday of every month except December. Thank you. Please come back. Thank oh, you for coming well. out. We enjoy it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. It's Cadillac time at the Cru uh, Marble City Cruise Inn today. Marble City Cruise, Cruise Inn have with me today Jimmy McGuirk. Jimmy, what is this, 59 Cadillac? It's a 1959 Coupe de Ville. 59 Coupe de Ville, and uh, I'm going to move, uh, move over that way a little bit, and uh, we'll, we'll let Ben zero in on the uh, motor here. And I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful in there. Thank uh, you. How long you had it, Jim? About nine years now. Uh, did you restore it, or, or did you buy it this way? I did most of the work myself. I uh, know it's got a beautiful green interior. Yeah. Also has a 45 turntable in it. Yeah, I put that in there for people to look at. And, you know, it's just for looks. Oh. But, uh, Jimmy, thank you for coming out today. It's a beautiful car. Thank you, And sir. we're here. I know I think you've been here before. We're here every third. Saturday of the month, every yeah. month except December. Yeah. Thank you for coming out today. Thank you, Thank you Bob. G. Thank you. Okay, been talking with Jimmy McGuirk, and we were talking about the turntable, the 45 turntable he has mounted in this 1959 Cadillac, and uh, got Ben, our producer, to uh, come in and uh, get some video of it. It's, I, I've never seen a turntable in a car before. Jim, once again, thank you for sharing your vehicle and your your story with us. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby. Okay, this, this is very unusual. I, I don't have anybody to interview about this 56 classic Thunderbird. It happens to be my T-Bird. And uh, Ben, if you could sort of scan the inside of it, we'll talk about it. This, this is a uh, classic 1956 T-Bird. It's a rotisserie frame off restoration absolute perfect car it hadn't been out much this is only fourth time it's ever been out but a beautiful car 1956 Ford T-Bird once again let me remind everybody of the Oak Grove Fall Festival on October 8th with uh, Tony White and the group at Oak Grove they'll have the copy of the meteorite there probably that day they'll have a lot of activities the marble city cruisers will have a cruise in that day we'll be charging about 20 bucks a car but uh, you'll get uh, a car plaque and some more goodies that day so put on your calendar october the 8th also august 27th ben and i bobby g and the 50s at five will be in mumford alabama doing the car show so on Montford, Alabama on August 27th, make your plans to be there then. Okay, I have with me now Richard Kine has this beautiful Pontiac Trans Am. Man, absolutely perfect looking, Richard. Well, thank you, Bob. I've had this car a while. We both grew old together. I've had this car since 1981. Wow. Tell us a little bit about it. I, I'm sure it did come with all this chrome, the, the headers, the, uh, all that chrome on the front. and, and uh, that all felt all covered. Well, and, and it did not. I, I spent the last year or so bringing it into the new millennium with some later model stuff, but the car began as a special car anyway. It was a limited number back in 1979. This was number 94 of only 98 of these made. It was modified by a company in Arizona, and uh, I got a hold of it when it was two years old. And I did a lot of work to it back in the day, and then I freshened it up a couple of years ago. I know you're, you and uh, 
Your brother are famous for Indian motorcycles, but this is the first time I've ever seen this car, Richard. I mean, it is beautiful. I know I've seen your motorcycles. I do your dad really, really well. And back in, really back in the 50s when he started collecting these, I, I was over at his house and probably saw the first one he ever rolled in. Well, and maybe so, but yeah, the, the cars, the bikes, we like all of it. Okay, talking with Richard Kahn, a member of the Marble City Cruisers, and uh, Richard, thank you for coming out today, and thank you for all you all do. Right. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you very much. Jerry Webster, the owner of this beautiful Chevrolet, what is it, 55? 56. 56, I'm sorry, I don't guess I slighted you by calling it a 55. No, I? no, I like them all. T tell, tell us about this beautiful uh, car here. Well, I've owned it for about probably 35 years, and it's been this way about 10. And uh, I've done the restore and restoration on it. Did you do all the restoration and everything? All but the interior. Okay. You yeah. rebuilt the motor and? N no, I just I just placed it in there. Placed and, uh, it in there. Yeah. Wow. It's yeah. Well, that's what, what. Tell me about the motor in there. That's okay. that's not your everyday. 283 that came no. in this thing, or 265, really, what came in a 56. No, it, it come out of a um, 01 Camaro. 01? Yeah, salvage 01 Camaro, and uh, and I, I I bought it out of a salvage vehicle and then put it in there. It originally came with a six-cylinder engine in it, didn't it? This one come with a V8. You know, the the 55 came out with a V8 first in the, in the Chevrolet. Late, late 55s. Or late 55s. What, 265. 265, and this one came with a 265 okay. originally. Okay. But I didn't, I didn't own it then. Thank you very much. I'm sure you enjoy it. And, I uh, do. Uh, we're here every, every third uh, Saturday. Come out and join us. Okay, I do. I come out. Support. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.